Hi there, Sam Sorbo here for The Accidental Homeschooler. I wanna to talk to you today about a schoolwork and chore checklist. I used checklists when I was homeschooling the youngers because um, they really didn't track anything. <laughs> you know, kids, they basically don't track much of it. You ask them to do something, they say yes, and then within a minute, it's completely forgotten and you never, you never said anything. I didn't hear you say anything about asking me to do the dishes or what have you. So I, I instituted checklists and um, yes, they require sort of upkeep. You have to sort of keep on the kids to make sure that they're checking stuff off, but they can be very, very beneficial. And so in this time, because you're home a lot, why not come up with some sort of more, um, more uh, uh, targeted chores that are things that you wouldn't necessarily otherwise get done. Like, let's talk some spring cleaning. It's getting into spring. Um, uh, it just is spring, I think. So let's, let's do some spring cleaning. Pick out a couple of things that you think that your kids ought to be engaged in, in terms of maybe going through their closets or going through their drawer, or cleaning out that big junk drawer where everything is accumulated over time or things like that. And maybe you can find a couple of things around the house where you can enlist your children's help to get something done. Um, uh, uh, like, I don't know, maybe painting. I, I did actually set my kids to painting um, uh, when they were very young. In fact, I have the greatest photo of them painting, all of them getting, they, you know, got paint on themselves, but they were so thrilled. Um, and I kind of made it foolproof. I, I sort of made everything, uh, I covered everything really well and stuff, but um, you can come up with some, some, some great things for the kids to do. Now, but back to checklists. Uh, you want to write down the different things that your kids have to get done during the day. So you want them to do an hour of reading or 45 minutes of reading or an hour and a half of reading, whatever it is. You want them to play piano. Here's an opportunity for them to do twice as much piano as they've done when they were in school because they've just gained all of this free time because the homeschool day is so much shorter than the traditional school day. Um, so so you can put you put all of these things on their checklists and then you double check the checklist and then you can incentivize them. Hey, if you guys can get everything done by three o'clock, then we will have an ice cream party or we'll make pizza or we'll do something as a family. Um, the checklist is such a, a, I use checklists for myself still. Like it's such a useful tool that, um, that we may not be teaching our kids because the school, we think the school will simply hold them accountable. The school will make sure that they do their work. Uh, which is not actually always the case. So I'm just just telling you right here. Um, so checklists and make sure you put some chores on the checklist. Wipe down the stairs, uh, vacuum the living room, um, clean the bathroom. And, and yes, you do need to teach your children how to clean. And you need to break it down, especially for younger kids, you need to break it down into its smallest little pieces. You can't just say clean the kitchen because then you will have a, you won't even get a, a, a marginally clean kitchen. You'll have a kid who says, well, I put the dish in the sink. Doesn't that count? You're like, okay, that's step one. Now you, step two is you rinse the dish out and step three is you open the dishwasher and then you put, so, you know, my kids used to load the dishwasher, clean the kitchen, and then they'd be on their way. And the dishwasher would sit with dirty dishes in it all, uh, all night long. And I had to teach them. When you, when you, once you close it, you have to put the soap in. They would put the soap in and then they wouldn't turn it on. I'm just saying, teach your kids how to do laundry. Teach them how to fold laundry, right? Okay, your turn, you fold all the laundry. Or no, both of you have to fold laundry. It's a race to see who gets the biggest pile of folded towels. And they have to be folded properly. Like they can't just be, right? So. Have some fun with that, uh, and um, but but obviously it's a serious thing. So it's it it covers both things at once. And enjoy. Thanks for listening. I'm Sam Sorbo for the Accidental Homeschooler. Uh, that's you, and this is my book. They're your kids. This book will teach you basically why you should homeschool and how easy it is. It's my story uh, of a a self doubter to homeschool advocate. And I want to turn you into one of those too, a homeschool advocate.
not a self-doubter. I know you're a self-doubter. I know you are. And I want to release you from that bondage of thinking that you're not adequate. I'm here to tell you you are. You're actually more than adequate. You're exceptional. And you can do it. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get notifications. I'm doing a live video every morning at 9 a.m. this week uh, to encourage and empower parents uh, to bring their families closer together and to educate their children. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please tell your friends. And if you want my book, you can go over to samsorbo.com and see all the other stuff there, uh, samsorbo.com. And uh, great. Have a great weekend if I don't see you before Monday.